Got these guys hoarding in on our spot, huh? I know. Can't go any anywhere anymore without someone just following you around. Can't trust anybody no. these days. Show the guy a couple trail camera pictures. Next thing you know, they're just going straight into it. No. <laughs> <laughs> we decided that would be the best thing to do. Have Ted and Keith go in there right where that trail camera is that we checked yesterday. It's perfect conditions to do it. It's about the best conditions I think we're going to have. Just calm to be right down that bottom. Hopefully their wind's just settling right down in there and then we're going to kind of get on the back side where Ward picked out a buck last year down the bottom. We can shoot way further down from there so we figure that'd be a better spot for the muzzleloader. And maybe they'll kick one back to us or after it smells them down there yeah. or vice versa. Uh -huh. so. We're going to go get set up. We got a little walk and we need some time to get these saddled up in the tree so we're going to take off and get in there. Good luck. We'll listen for the blowing. Yeah, we'll listen for a shot. The coyote how if we dump one. Yep. spot the route that I picked in the dark I don't know if it was the best one but we're here now and it feels like a spot you can catch one coming back into pretty late or 10 and Keith are hunting that buck could have potentially been working his way all the way back in here it's only about two or three hundred yards and we had videos of shooter bucks going through there at 9 20 I think and like 8 45 so probably just chill out here for quite a while Right down in front of us here is where Warp kicked up a buck last fall. It was a little earlier in October, but this is a pretty deep spot. We won't be able to see them when they get down into that more brown colored grass, I don't think, but I'm hoping we can catch them coming off this ridge and this canary grass down here and maybe get a shot. And if we don't, we'll at least have a really good play for this evening, I'd say. You can see down this edge for probably a half mile, so it's the last morning of this cold front. So hopefully we can get it done. Let's see. Get it done. It's, it just sounds like you're just trying to be done hunting. It's just <laughs> like, oh, I just wish we were done. Yep. Come in making them look. <laughs> we're all set up this morning. We got in here just in time. This is a spot that Keith and Jake scouted earlier this year. They put a trail camera up right here. There's a big trail coming down right in front of us here. A bunch of trails coming. And they all kind of intersect right here. We're set up. We got this tarsal band. We're gonna see if we can't shoot buck this morning. Jake and Craig and Hayden are back that way, down on the bottom. Definitely back. Pretty good one. Really good one, actually. The type of movements we're hoping for. on a mission to look back. Yeah, he started. He says, ooh, it's getting pretty light out. <laughs> it's a daylight traveler. Yeah, he's covered some of this one. Kyle 
coyote. Close to him. And I'm about halfway between us and him. I was just filming him and all of a sudden the coyote just ran through the bottom of the frame. <laughs> you can see his rack going through that tall grass better than I expected he'd be able to. Just lay down, buddy. You gotta be tired. <laughs> oh. Running back towards us. I'm filming him, you keep an eye left. Yeah, I'm gonna keep left. You got him, Aiden, he said. I'm filming him, yeah. Let me know if you got a shift or anything, I can watch him. Do I need to move? He's slowing down now. Do you need me to move back, or do you have a line? I think they're pretty close. Okay. We might think about swimming across that river in a second here. He's like 200 yards now. Seems like he likes that spot. Hopefully the beds are right there. Yep, he just laid down. Hmm. Thought we were gonna have to swim that river. <laughs> I was thinking he was gonna maybe still should. A couple more bucks to you. I'm on him. No shoot is that. I'm on him. They're all small so far. Okay. Had a very eventful morning so far. I think he was the first deer we saw, wasn't he? Yeah. And he just did a huge loop cruising down through that bottom and he disappeared for the longest time and I think we got distracted by some other deer, these coyotes. And then I looked down and he was coming right towards us. There was a certain point there where I thought we might have to just cross the river and try to go get a shot, but I'm glad we didn't because I'm shivering as it is. I can't imagine trying to shoot that thing after we cross the river, but Ted, has his, his wikis on him. He's gonna come back here. We're gonna cross this thing, get on that dike over there. And I think we'll be within 150 yards of where he's bedded at. The wind is just howling that way pretty good. So as long as he doesn't get up and move before that, I think we're probably gonna get an opportunity. <laughs> just kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> That's, I think it's the same buck that come in and smelled that rub right after Keith and I worked it. He's been hanging out right around here a bunch. And so have we, and I think that might be why he's across the river now. Fun morning, the coyotes are cool. <laughs> he eventually came right up here. I got a video on my phone of him coming right up behind these guys. I think Ted saw a two-year-old buck. He said they're gonna come back in here and join the party though, I think eventually, hopefully pretty soon, because I'm interested to get across there before he gets up and does something. But I think we'll be able to keep eyes on him regardless of where he goes, but he's just in a really good spot now where if he gets up, I think we might be able to just shoot him right away. I'm excited to get out there in that sun. Yeah. <laughs>
back and watch. You guys here for the show? Oh yeah. I'll have a popcorn. But... There you go. Waiters and people. Yeah. Let's just book it around. Might as well start going now. <clears throat> that creek is quite a bit deeper than we figured. It's gonna shed some layers and ready to run in there as soon as we get up there. A little jog warm this out there. <laughs> it's, good. it's good for the sore throat. throat. Well, let's see how fast we can get over there by following all the rules and regulations of the road, starting with the seatbelt. So these guys went down to the river and they tried to get across, but it was too deep. So they went all the way back out to the car, which is probably half a mile from here, drove around to a different access. And they're coming in from straight across from where we're sitting. This buck that they're after actually got up and stretched his legs a little bit, turned around and laid right back down. So we're still good there. About 15 minutes ago, there's a buck that popped up down here along the river. We looked over and saw him. He saw us about the same time. He cut up in these woods back behind us. But I had an arrow knock just in case if another one does that and we can get a shot at him. Buck right here to the left. To the left, walking to the woods.
Laying down. He's just laid down. Just sit here and watch him. Yeah. I can see blood on his side. I can see pretty well there. Yeah. He just got up again. Notice that they weren't up there anymore. <laughs> Just out of that spot right there? I think they might have went after one. Because they're not up there anymore. <laughs> Kid, that's awesome. Blood in the bottom, there's blood in the bottom. October 19th at 11.44, rutting. <laughs> I'll probably just take the shot as soon as I feel like I got it clear and not like he's going to be through some of that grass but I'm going to shoot through it if yeah. I got a good enough opening yeah. I think. I'll let you know as soon as I'm on him. If he stands up anywhere close to him line at that bridge I'm on him right away. So. See if the old honey crisp can get, can get him up. If he hears that he's just like apple tree. Up. I think you had to do it harder. Did do it when he was laying down? Yeah, yeah. He's, like, yeah. he's done. Like yeah. that's that's lethal. Yeah. It's just that's the thing we say. It's like, he's not letting him do it. We just got to not push him yeah. too hard. Yeah. There he is. Yes, yes, yes.
Stärke hat. I think it's probably gonna be tough to get a shot through that stuff, but if he goes left or right, there might be an opening at some point, you know, you never know. He's just gotta move more than two steps from his bed. Sit here for a while, yeah. Let's see if he gets up again. Let's see if we can get a better gauge on where he's at. He might just come this way tonight too, you know. And then he's in range, I think. He just I'd like to get a more open shot if I can. He's got no idea we're here, so yeah. I'm a little worried he's just gonna all of a sudden get up and decide he wants to go somewhere else. But I think we can move on him more. I think we'll probably get a shot at him unless he goes straight away from us, which he'll be going right towards that parking lot. If mm -hmm. that's the case, which I don't know why he would do that, but he was right by it this morning. It's almost one o'clock, and we've been glassing out here where this buck was bedded at, and we just saw him get up again. All we could see was his head and his rack. It looked like he just stood up and then laid right back down. Might take sitting here all day, but. That's all right, as long as we got a beat on them, we'll stick around until they can get a shot. Good thing for a big old power bank. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, a, and a lot of card space. Yep. <laughs> it could go on for hours. It could take a while. Hours. Right out in the middle of that thing right there. Swing shift, Aiden? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I should have thought that about nine hours ago, huh? Probably. Be staying comfortable out here. You do? take up this blood trail. It's about 3.30 right now. It's been four hours since the shot. Last we saw it looked like he was in pretty rough shape and we've followed blood for a little ways and there's quite a bit of blood so this deer hasn't done anything for a long time and we've got really good wind cover right now so we're gonna take up the blood trail before we get dark using the wind cover see if we can find this deer. Hopefully we'll hear a gunshot while we're tracking.
How many hours have been here? Five o'clock. It's five o'clock. Ten hours. I wonder how old Greg's doing over there. It's been in the shade all day. I don't know what he had for food or water, but this buck has gotten up three times today, I think, total that we've seen. He's gotten up real briefly the two times that we've seen him. And all I could see is, you know, basically his head up. So we're hoping he steps into a pocket where he's a little more open like he was when we were on that side. But our hunger has since passed. <laughs> we were pretty hungry there in the middle of the day, but Ted and Keith just started to go look for that deer that he shot, so. You see him? Do you see him? Hit him. Heard it hit. I heard it hit him. Dropped him, I think. I'm gonna read that. Keep eyes down there. You could hear it smack. I heard it hit him. I think I mean, we freaking nailed it, dude. <laughs> the only time I've ever heard it that distinctly is Ted's elk hunt. Yeah. That thing. He was slightly corded too, and I just put right on the butt of his shoulder. So I imagine it. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Let's you. go, dude. <laughs> He's acting like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I spent all day here. <laughs> couple midday bucks. I guess it ain't midday anymore. Yeah. Almost got a couple midday bucks. We're up here, probably eight, ten feet above where, you know, if we got down there and we can only see his rack and his head. So, like, when we get down there, I don't think we're going to be able to see anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> big and boy. That's a big deer. <laughs> I think it's the same deer we've uh, yeah. been trying to kill. It looks like. Nice job, eh? Dude, that was so fun. That was an awesome hunt. Just as soon as we do an update interview. <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing all sorts of weird stuff to pass the time. <laughs> it ain't cold. No. Well, I guess it's cold, but it ain't that cold. <laughs> this is <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, I was like, I've been sitting here all day just like, all right, how can I get the most solid? And this is what I came up with. I had it tucked under the butt of the gun, and then I, you know, just had tried to have as many contact points as possible. Had these elbows, each elbow on each knee, and we knew this thing was dialed. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Orb. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think that's about what he was. I'll be interested to see. I think so. All right, well. Yeah, because right come a little closer too, so he might have been right at the front of that that red brush was like 120 yeah, is what I kept getting. Get a good range on anything really. <laughs> Greg's is like he was fist bumping it, was so I'd imagine he, he saw it go down. Yeah, should we go to the river by him? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. The old redneck reload. <laughs> that's a pretty smart idea though. <laughs> I mean, it worked. Holy boy, we're partying tonight. We got. Fresh jambalaya, fresh back straps. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> I can't even sing it. I watched the footage back straight down. <laughs> that was the loudest I've ever heard it before. You know, something hitting an animal. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, we just watched Greg's footage and just dropped. <laughs> it's sweet. I was kind of worried he's gonna bed back down. I was just, and then I started shaking real bad. I was just like, I better hurry up and shoot because like it, this might get really out of control. Uh, <laughs> Had a shooter ten yards away from me while these guys were going. Jeez. Came out at fifty, and then he ran by at ten. He ran this edge. Yeah, he ran by right where those guys are at. You get some footage of him. I got good footage of him out there, but when he was here, he was too close. Like I was, <laughs> couldn't fit him in the frame. Like he was literally running by at full speed. That's sweet. I don't know about mine. I mean, sounds like you just gotta wait a little bit, huh? Yeah, I want to see the footage on the big screen. But well, why don't you guys hurry up and get over here? We'll get this thing out of here, and then we'll go find yours. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice boys. Good job. Way to wait it out. Hey, you're you're the one that had to sit in the shade all day. Yeah. It's like Greg hasn't seen the sunlight the whole day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a chilly day over here. Warm now. Did you have any food or water, Greg? Water and a uh, half of a cliff bar. <laughs> Smashed up cliff bar. Can eat good tonight though. Yeah, oh. Nick got fresh jambalaya. Looks like so. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I got one there. <laughs> Nailed him. I just said it sounded like the king was humorous snapping when his arm wrestled on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> we were way up in that ridge looking for blood, and all of a sudden we were boom! It's like, wow! <laughs> and we just both looked at each other, got that one. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just shot over there. There was a guy parked up there where we were parked this morning. And two guys parked over that way, and another guy parked down here. It looked like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Work for that one, boys. Yeah. Sit out there for a while. Yeah, that was a long sit. <laughs> Officially just filled up the first card. <laughs> and it, it holds uh, seven hours and 37 oh. minutes. <laughs> it was non stop roll for Greg. Yeah. You got him standing up every time and Every time. Too. It's all more than we did that. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Thank you. Bye. Alright, so we got a dog tracker lined up for tomorrow to go in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. That is a freaking tank, dude. <laughs> that is a stud. That is fun. Yeah, bro. Hurry up, hey, dude. <laughs> He was out making loops a little too late last night. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't quite make it back to his ridge. <laughs> we were just like joking around like, what is he doing? Like, yeah, just out in the middle. He covered of so much ground this morning. Yeah, he went all the way to that dike and just followed it. Really? Did like a huge J-hook almost. And I don't know if he's cruising or, and Hayden made a good point though, he might have just been hooking it like he hooked this whole thing and he walked back up to the wind laid uh, down. Yeah, it's just like a big J-hook. West just, wind. Today. Yeah, uh -huh. he was checking everything that he couldn't smell before he came in. And he never walked area. within range of a tree where a bow hunter would be. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I had in mind when I didn't shoot that one the other day, but you know. It usually doesn't work like that. <laughs> I figured to get down to like the last day or two of the season and I'd just be like looking for something significantly smaller than that one. <laughs> yeah. <I'd come> in. <laughs> but I knew we had good weather for a couple of days, so I was gonna oh, be yeah. a little picky until it got warm and then I was not gonna be picky at all. So. <laughs> Probably the best weather you could ever ask for this time of year. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean yeah. you you shot a buck in the middle of the day on October eighteenth. Pretty epic day. Just yeah. five of us out here just hanging yeah. out. You guys just slipped in to uh -huh. come watch watch this show and yeah. <laughs> got an arrow in one. Getting a buck, yeah. That's crazy. Ted's got the tracker on the line. Sounds like we're gonna go get that one in the morning. I hope so. Mm -hmm. We're gonna 
start cutting on them. Greg just took some sweet pictures that we have at the sunset. It's a pretty sweet day. I mean, you guys got to see it all go down, so I don't think I have to say too much. We're just going to cut them up and get back to the house and get some food in our bellies and enjoy it. I'm really excited good. to see your angle of it. That it's pretty sweet. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just like, we got it lined pretty much straight up, it sounds like, so. Greg was sitting there filming all day. <laughs> seven hours. And a camera rolling all day. So he had seven hours? Seven hours. Oh, yep. Holy God. Two, so, two so 256 the, gig cards he had in there. He's ready for it. <laughs> so the camera saw way more of this thing than we did even. Because there was times where he got up where he was just like, oh, he might have been up for a little bit. But how he never stood up for that long, did he? It was he? never very long. No. no. That's, that's the most interesting thing about watching one bed down and spending the whole day out there is just, cause we were talking about it on the way out, it's just like, it seems like it just depends on the day and the deer. Or like, sometimes they'll get up middle of the day, they'll just go walk 300 yards or however far mm -hmm. that one and more killed in Wyoming walk. But yep. if they get to a spot like that, he was obviously pretty comfortable. Well, the there. crazy thing is, like, this one was out here bedded all day. Mm -hmm. And then at 11.30, the one that we shot, Mm -hmm. Just was up moving around and just yeah. walked. I mean, he walked a long mm -hmm. ways at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and I wonder if you guys had kicked that one up that ran by Gregor, if he's bedded down that bottom all day and yeah. was there I was before we saw him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, when I saw him, I, I assumed he was coming up out of the bottom. He was acting comfortable at that point. He went up in the timber, and that's when mm -hmm. these guys maybe bumped him so and he came running by me. He was right under our nose the whole day, probably. <laughs> yeah. Coyotes yeah. in there. Well, I'm sitting there around. thinking, I hope this works out for Jake because there's a shooter 60 <laughs> yards away from me right now. Yeah. Yep. Right in the spot where you were. <laughs> Just wild. Uh huh. Pretty sweet. Great. No, great. I was trying to think of how long I'd seen deer bed in one spot without getting up and moving. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about the buck that I had, had in South Dakota. Mm -hmm. I think he was five hours without moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't ever get much longer than that. Huh. But, I mean, yeah, I, I don't think I know that I've seen. What's the longest he bedded? Three, I think. Yeah. Bit, maybe doing. a little longer than three. So I'd say if you're ever sneaking up on one in any fashion, if you can, just let him stand up by himself because he's probably going to do it at some point if you got the stuff to stay out there I think It'd be natural but I've seen I've watched a YouTube video of two kids out there <laughs> and they're walking in to check a camera or something they see a buck and the kid just yeah, the deer's bedded and they're like 15 yards from it. it's windy the kid just one kid's filming just throws his shoe buck gets up looks at his shoe and he just pegs him no so kidding like, now I'm sure they're there, there for 15 20 minutes so <laughs> you can do that if you want to you don't want to sit out there for so long Louisiana hot sauce you gotta be good if you're into that spicy stuff <laughs> Pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> These are rice Looks like straight down my throat. <laughs> Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice for a quarter. <laughs> for a quarter. That was a good little yeah. teddy right there. What's that? Okay. We're going to take off here right now. We got to go. See if we can find this deer. We went in there yesterday at like four o'clock and we tracked to his beds that we watched him bed down in and we didn't find much for blood after that. And once we got back here last night, we looked at the footage and it looks like it was pretty much straight liver. So glad that we backed out yesterday and I got a hold of Alinda, the dog tracker. She's the same person that helped Warb a couple years ago with his buck in 2020. We're gonna meet her over there in about a half hour, go in there and see if we can find this buck. But it's starting to get warm on us now, so hopefully we can find him soon and get him taken care of. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's within like the, the 10 yard radius right here was his other bed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Blood right there. Got him. Got yeah. <laughs> that didn't take long. That a boy. That's exactly what we thought maybe would happen. Yep, perfect. Well, that's when 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 she started going down towards this thick stuff. I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if he's laying right in there because that's exactly where he came through when 
we saw him, we saw him go through there and then I shot him up on the ridges but cool thank you you bet <laughs> two for two yep Bottom. Yeah. She didn't slow down until we hit the bottom bottom. Mm -hmm. She had to think about it, but she, she must didn't have, want to put her nose down. She didn't have to. Must have been able to smell it. Because the wind is just coming straight up. Straight up to her. Yeah. Woo. Nice. Uh, we, right when she started doing like that, me and Keith were like, I wouldn't be surprised if he's right, because this is like the thickest part right here in this bottom. Cool. <laughs> Heck yeah. Two bucks in the same day right there. Yeah, you found a little hole. Mm -hmm. It's right on Morb's buck pin that he sent us. Really? Yeah. yeah, I think this is where he jumped the one last year. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's why we came in here the other day and sat right up there. Mmm, smells like deer. Nice. Nice dog. Oh, okay, okay. I shot him right over there. He ran up like that. Went right to him? Yeah. Down over there. <laughs> uh -huh. Nice to meet you. Thank yeah, you. You betcha. Should have seen her and she stood up <laughs> and she was looking straight down the hill before I even put her on the first bed. Uh -huh. So th that's what they're tracking. That's how they tell a one deer from the rest. That's wild. So you actually get that. And, uh -huh. and that's their fingerprint. That's their fingerprint. That's how you can track a deer through 20, 30 other deer and they'll find the right one. Hmm. That's wild. Beauty of a tent. Midday October buck. Yeah. yeah Midday cruiser. Yeah. October 19th. <laughs> October 19th, November 7th. <laughs> but yeah, there's 43 of us now yeah. across Iowa. And it seems like you guys all like get along, like everybody communicates well and like yeah, it's pretty organized we, as far as that goes, which it's is nice. Game recovery, it's, it's not about money, it's, yeah. it's not about ego, it's about game recovery and, mm -hmm. and we gotta put people where where we're needed, so. Mm -hmm. How far are we from the beds that were up top? Probably 100 yards. We watched him bed down up there. We shot him over there. He ran up the hill, bedded down, and then he made it over the top of the ridge so we didn't go any further. We backed up to where we first shot him at just to give him some time. Mm -hmm. And then we went up to those beds, found the beds, and popped over this hill. And I mean, we were on this side hill a little bit looking around for blood, but not, I mean, we were going real slow trying to find any blood that we could, but we didn't find any. And so we backed out. Pretty happy that we took it easy on the track and backed out of there before bumping him again, otherwise it Probably wouldn't, uh, probably wouldn't be sitting here with him right now. Luckily, we were able to get back and see the footage and see exactly where it hit mm -hmm. and could tell that it was for sure a liver hit. Cause when I shot, I thought it was better than this. I thought it was more forward, but I couldn't see exactly where it went through a little bit of brush and stuff. I think that's where sound is a big cue when you yeah. hit deer. Because then that the you first thing you said was mm -hmm. sound of back. Yep. Right away. Yeah, the first yeah. thing Greg said you can was just, sound You can back. tell a lot just from the sound of the hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, you compare, I mean, we could do a video on that sometime, just comparing the sounds of different hits. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It'd be interesting to hear the difference yeah. of them back to back like that. Because mm -hmm. to me, like that shot there, I was like, I thought it sounded almost good when it popped. Mm -hmm. But when Greg was like back, I was like, yeah. Pretty wild day. We didn't expect October 19th to turn out like that. <laughs> no. Not at all. <laughs> and then it's just a bonus. Super mature looking buck going right past Greg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> His bottom is loaded with him right yeah. now. Not so much anymore, but. We'll get Warb yeah. back in here. Yeah. Get yep. him on that. Yeah, we got that management yeah, buck. That's seven buck. Point. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's right. To come in here and get his. Yeah. That's right. If Ted will let him. Start cutting on him. Hey. He's been here long enough. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done in Iowa this year, so. <laughs> off guys, to Kansas. Yep. That's right. I'm going to be off to Kansas as soon as I can. See if I can tag one there. You but, got a lot of editing to do first. Oh yeah, that's true. I do <laughs> have a lot of editing to do. We all do. Let's get to cutting. No, this is the greatest day ever. We just got a two hour ride home. <laughs> Another heavy pack. Another heavy pack. That's like the third heavy pack I've had in the last four days. I like it. Let's Good problem that, to have. Yeah, let's keep that going. Meeting you. Thanks for Thanks helping for us out. That was awesome. Glad I could experience the dog track for the first time. It was pretty cool. We'll try to get one down in Minnesota in a couple days. Yeah. Perfect. Keep it. the ball rolling. Oh, yeah. Playful little thing, huh? For sure, for sure. <laughs> thank you so very much. Yeah, much. yeah. thank you. you awesome bet. job again. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Good work, Greg. Good work yourself. Thank you. That's four bucks in five days. That's right. Way better. <laughs> the 
Lund loaded down with deer meat. Yeah. You had to make some freezer space, so I gotta take a couple loads. It's been a pretty crazy week and a half, two week span here between North Dakota and Iowa. But uh, Zach, he's up in Minnesota. He's been editing up there and doing a little bit of scouting. He's been seeing some really nice bucks. So Greg's gonna head back to South Dakota and hunt till around Halloween. Then I think we're all gonna meet back up here at some point and try to fill the rest of these bow tags. I think you're going to Kansas next, I guess, huh? That's my next plan. See if anybody even wants to come film me in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, think everybody wants to. I think everybody wants to. <laughs> Most season was a no-brainer this year because we had great weather. Uh -huh. I mean, it was down to like 20 degrees at certain points. Mm -hmm. So deer were up and moving and we were able to get on. Made for a lot of fun. Made for a good Polaroid picture. Oh yeah, she's in there developing right now. <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see ya on the next video. Nice, way to end that for Jake. Yeah, no problem. Brought in the just, closer. Just left.